everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tiffany. Today I'm going to be unboxing, giving my first impressions of the Marc Jacobs Traveller's Tote Bag. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. I do all sorts from lifestyle to fashion and lots of handbag unboxings. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to check out my Instagram and we will dive right into this. So I like to always flip the camera around for the unboxing so you can see everything. Apologies in advance, Momo is very interested. Oh, Momo, don't get inside. <laughs> the back. So this is how it looks once it comes out of the box. It does come folded on the, the handles do come like flat down so that it can be flat packed inside the box and it does come folded if you can see the back side here is folded. The canvas tote doesn't come with as much packaging as the leather ones but I'll take this off now so it has this plastic bag wrapped around it. Some more plastic sheeting and then tissue paper around the front. All right, Momo, you're gonna have to skedaddle for this part. Apologies, my assistant is very involved. Here is how the bag looks it has the tote bag, Mark Jacobs. This is the canvas material bag and as you can see, Momo's fur has already gone all over it. I will talk a bit more about that in a moment as well. It has the tag on here, which doesn't really say too much on here. But yes, it has the back patch on here as well. I like where the straps go all the way around. It doesn't have any feet or anything on the bottom. Yes, here is the sort of first impressions of the bag. So let's have a look at the inside of the bag. It's got this, this sort of like waxy sort of lining. I can't really explain it. It sort of feels like it's been waxed over, but it does feel like if you spilled a drink in it, it wouldn't just soak the bag. So that is nice. I think you can sort of see the contrast and the textures compared to like the canvas that this is slightly like lined with this nice glossy lining. Then you have the internal pocket here, which you've got the zip, it's the main compartment, which is nice and smooth. Inside here again is lined, the Marc Jacobs card, then the Marc Jacobs on here again. This is stitched down fully, so you can't like put anything there, but this is a pocket, and then here too is a pocket. Let's have a quick look to see if my phone fits in here. This is the iPhone 13, not the Pro, just the regular size. And that does just fit in there just perfectly. With enough room that you can easily grab it, it doesn't sink too deep in. But yeah, other than this main pocket, it's just all empty space inside the bag. We do sort of have the piping of the Marc Jacobs along here which is nice as well. So overall a nice big spacious tote. So here she is, the Traveller tote bag. Of the three sizes this bag comes in, this is the largest size. This is the only size that can comfortably fit under the shoulder as well. The other ones are more like handle here or handle like that or with the shoulder strap. This bag, because it does fit over your shoulder fully, it doesn't come with the shoulder strap so there is that. Um, but yes, here it is. I absolutely love the size of this bag. I think this bag is perfect for like travel, if you're in school or for a work bag, or even like a nappy bag, or as some people say, a diaper bag. I would definitely use it for this kind of thing as well. With the bag, the price that it does come across is £200 in England. You can go to like different websites like mybag.com or um, yeah, there's loads of other different websites where you can get like 10 or 15 percent off your first order it's not one of those bags that will never change in price i do recommend if you are interested in the bag looking at one of the different websites and um, just so you can get a discount for your first order because it does take a good decent amount off but yes i do really love the color of the bag this material is the canvas one it does come in leather and i'll show some pictures on the screen some other sort of materials and patterns and all sorts now but the canvas material 
Um, naturally, this material is not waterproof on the outside. So I have seen a video of somebody putting Scotch Guard on the bag to make it like waterproof. So I will be trying that. I will be doing a more in-depth review once I've had the bag for some time, because I've only just got it now, but I want to like, give the wear and tear, use it, see how it feels, and then give like a proper full review of the bag after using it for some time. The size of the bag, the height is 34 centimeters, width is 42 centimeters, and the depth is 16 centimeters. And this handle drop is 24 centimeters. So I will put that on the screen as well if you want a screenshot just for your own references. Um, but yes, I love the practical size of this one. To be honest, I am probably going to get every size in the tote because I love a tote bag that you can throw things in. But the fact that this one has a zip for me is a game changer. I feel like tote bags usually are just open and you can shove everything in there, but it's not always secure. So the fact that this one does have a zip, I do really like that. On the other material bags, like the leather bag, this part here does have a magnet where it holds this extra strap piece here. There's no magnet on this canvas one, but... The leather one I have already ordered in the mini size, so stay tuned for that video because that will probably come in a couple of weeks um, once that arrives. But yes, in the mini one, it does sit here properly. The material of the bag is quite durable, so it doesn't feel like it's going to collapse fully. Like it does sort of have some sturdiness to it and some strength that it's not the kind of bag that would completely fall to pieces. However, with this larger one, where it does fold to go flat, it does fold this patch here, which I don't really want to have that. So let me just focus that. I don't really want to have the crease here. So I will be getting like a handbag insert just to help keep the shape fully and to help me organize. I do feel like with giant sized tote bags like this, it is very easy to just throw everything in there and forget what you've got in there and have no organization in it. But I do like to keep my bags organized. So I have looked on Etsy and seen a couple of different ones. So I might get two. Um, just to compare and um, yeah give the bag a, a bit more strength just because of where it does fold. I say the only con that I have with this bag so far is that this canvas material attracts lint and fluff and all sorts. As you can see I have a cat so I'm going to be dealing with cat hairs on this but I have watched a lot of videos of this bag and seen people that don't even have pets seen how much fluff and things gets on it so that is one thing that I'm going to have to get used to I will just carry like a lint roller in the bag with me because constantly I mean I've only just taken it out of here now and I'll just put some clips in and show you how much like fur and fluff and things have covered it so one girl I, I did watch her video she said she does keep a lint roller in there like all the time so I probably would do that with this bag as well because it would get on my nerves seeing it like covered in fluff constantly and that girl didn't even have any pets and said it was always covered in fluff so and I watched another video of a lady who had a lighter coloured one because that was another thing I thought okay maybe I should get a lighter colour to avoid seeing like bright fur all over the bag but with the, her bag she wore a red jumper and it all transferred onto the back so I feel like even if you get a different colour this sort of transfer of like fluff and it just really attracting fluff and things is an issue but I mean for the price point I feel like I can't really complain I can get lint rollers anywhere so I will just keep one in the bag but yes compared to like other tote bags I think this one is definitely a bargain the lot I have started with the largest one but I have a mini on the way and I will most likely get the small in summer because I feel like the small one is a good handbag size this large one I think for some people it is too big for an everyday bag. I admit for me, because I'm now working from home, this isn't going to be my everyday bag, but it is going to be a definite bag for travel, um, overnight stays, days that I need um, more things with me. So like say if I was taking my laptop out somewhere, it, iPhone, not iPhone, <laughs> MacBook 13 inches fits in here easily. There's a ton of space. My iPad 11 inches, iPad Pro, that fits in easily. And yeah, this one is the perfect size if you want to be able to throw everything in. And I needed a bag that I can throw everything in, but I also do need an everyday bag, which is why I bought the mini. But yeah, this bag, I think I'm most likely going to use it for like travel as well. Like I've, I've seen a few pictures of people put it on top of a suitcase while they're like wheeling that along. It does sit really nicely. And I think with the pocket where you can slip your passport in the pocket, so you do have a secure section, but then everything else you can stuff things in. I do think it is going to be really practical for travel as well. So here's to hoping the world opens up a bit more because I'm itching to take this like abroad 
or I saw somebody else say use it for a beach bag as well. I definitely would scotch guard it before I do anything like that with the bag, but I definitely think it is a really good like, just bag that you can throw everything in. Once I have my mini and the small one, I will be doing a video comparing all the different sizes to see if people only want to get one, which one is the best to get for you, for your circumstances, and yeah. For now, I've started off with the Traveller tote. I really, really love this bag, and again, I will put some like mod shots in at the end just to see how it sits on my body and show you how it fits on me and yeah it is a bit large to have as a hold all bag like for me my arms are quite long so when I do just hold it and stand up it does drag quite close to the floor but it is a good like shoulder bag rather than like just a hold all bag but I think with the mini I'll get that use out of it as a hold all sort of bag but yeah so that's all from me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And again, don't forget to subscribe so you can see the review of this bag in a couple of weeks and my unboxing of the mini leather tote coming soon as well. And if you haven't already, please check out my Instagram and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.